We're going to be talking about Firefox 3.5. When are they going to add it to the repositories? And they never do. Because it's stable. It's, it's been out for a while, and what's going on, right? So mm. why is it not there? I don't know. I don't know. So I said, well, what better way to install Firefox 3.5 than to just pop it into perfect boom to? I like to make things simple for people, and, and for myself as well, because I often install you know, a number of computers. And so it's nice to be able to install things really, really simply. It's nice because all I have to do, I mean, this is, this is how kind of popular Perfect Ubuntu has become. It's pretty cool. All you, all you really need to do is just in your address bar, just type Perfect Ubuntu. And it's going to get redirected to the proper page. It should, anyways. This is, uh, so if you see my shiny head up at the top, you'll know that you're at the right place. Uh, this is Perfect Ubuntu. It's a nice little script that is designed to make installation of restricted extras, DVD playback abilities, MP3, uh, all the different stuff that doesn't come with Linux because of possible licensing issues and things like that. It makes it easy for you to install that. Now, you've got to make sure that, of course, you have the right to install these things. And you'll right. go through the question and answer because, you know, it, it's, not, it's not to distribute software that you're not supposed to have. It's just right. certain areas of the world are, maybe have patents on different applications. So, mm. so it's kind of up to you to, to make sure. But that aside, it's really, really simple to use. Really, really classy and gorgeous. Just click on download current version. This is going to give you like this text screen. And some people say, well, what on earth is this? It's just a whole bunch of coding. What am I supposed to do? It doesn't do anything. So what we do is we go file, save page as, this is in Firefox, or alternatively, dependent, you know, it doesn't matter what browser you're in, you can right click on that download link and just go save the target or save however, but here I'm going to go file, save page as. Throw it on my desktop. <clears throat> Minimize all the crazy applications you got running and find it on your desktop here. There it is. Right click on it, go properties. We need to now tell our Linux pro, uh, system that this is an executable program. So if that's not checked, see what I've done is I, I right-clicked on it and I went properties and then I went to the permissions tab and now I've set it to allow executing file as a program. That's step one. And this is going to allow us to install these applications, these extras, into anything that's based on Ubuntu. So Ubuntu. Kubuntu, Zubuntu, Edge Ubuntu, any of these things, uh, that, uh, that Netbook Remix, it, it's all going to, uh, it, not everything might work on everything, but it's designed to be compatible. So mm. once you've got that, jump into your terminal, which is Applications Accessories Terminal, and type in as follows. This is really, really easy. CD space desktop, and that's a capital D. Very important. And now type dot slash perfect Ubuntu. And what that's going to do is it's going to run the perfect Ubuntu command in the current folder. And here we can now answer the questions. So I, uh, I entered my password as, as requested. Okay, so do you want to enhance your multimedia experience? In this case, I'm going to say no because we're really just here to install Firefox 3.5. Would you like to enhance your internet experience? Yes. That's the one that we want because we're going to install Firefox 3.5. This is how easy this is. So I'm going to just say yes to that. Then it's asking me for a couple of other things. Do you want to install the latest Flash plugin? You know, you can do that if you like. I'm going to say no. Should I install Skype? There's an easy way for you to get Skype if you don't already have it. Do you want spam filters? Would you like to enhance your overall Ubuntu system? So that would be little extras, your graphics display and things like that. It's all features of Perfect Ubuntu. It gets everything through apt. Would you like me to install back in time for your backup? All these different applications, it's just yes or no questions. You know, what do you, wanna, what do you want Perfect Ubuntu install, to install? Now, we've already said, yeah, go ahead and install Firefox 3.5. That's the one that we really want today. And then I get the disclaimer that basically says, Robbie's not responsible for you breaking your, your system. <laughs> it says, this script does not come with or even imply a warranty. But remember, you can see it in plain text, so you can read over everything that's going to happen to your system. All this is going to do now is just install the applications through apt-get that you've requested. So I'm going to say yes to that. 
and it goes through, automatically sets everything up, automatically adds the repositories that are necessary, gets the GPG keys, and installs the application. So that it makes it really, really neat. simple. And that's it. Ooh. Once this is done running the script, you will have Firefox 3.5. Certainly not the only way to do it, of course, because it's done through the repositories. You can, if you'd like, look at the source code of Perfect Ubuntu, and you'll be able to see how uh, how that was how that was accomplished. Hmm. Uh, Underdog is asking the simple question: What are some of the cool features of Firefox 3.5 over 3.0? And the answer to that from me is that hey, I don't really know, except for the fact that it's twice as fast, and that's all I need to know. I'll just mention too, um, it really is, it's, it's a lot faster, especially with like Java execution, code execution and things like that, a lot faster. Uh, faster than Internet Explorer, big time. Hmm. Internet Explorer falls a little bit behind the speed of Firefox 3.0, and uh, Firefox 3.5 is about twice as fast as 3.0. Really? Yeah. But I haven't gotten too big into the, like, what's, what's available. A few clues mentioning that it has anonymous browsing. That's cool. Um, I should just mention quickly that if Perfect Ubuntu makes it so that, like, if you have any problems launching Firefox after you've uh, run the installer, just uh, just run, like, hit Alt F2, and you can type Firefox 3.0 to launch your old version of the browser. That's not going to be a problem because, uh, because Perfect Ubuntu doesn't remove, just for safety reasons, it doesn't remove your old version. It leaves your old version intact, but it changes all your defaults so that it will try to launch with 3.5. If 3.5 for some reason doesn't work on your system, you can still launch 3.0 by typing Alt F2 and then type Firefox 3.0 Enter. That's it.